Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today our topic is how to calculate the primary and secondary full load current of a single pass transformer. This is an important concept for electricians, engineers and students. I'll explain it step by step with an example. So let's start. A single pass transformer has a primary winding which connects to the input voltage and a secondary winding which provides the output voltage. The power remains almost the same on both sides except for minor losses. The most important things to calculate is the full load current which tells us how much current flow when the transformer operates at full capacity. To find the full load current, we use this simple formula. I is equal to S divided by V. Where I is current in ampere, S transformer power rating VA or KVA, V voltage in volts. Using this formula, we can calculate the current for both the primary and secondary windings. For example, suppose we have a 5 kVA transformer with primary voltages 230 volt and secondary voltages 115 volt. Calculate primary current. Put the values in formula. 5000 divided by 230. So the answer becomes 21.74 ampere. So the primary full load current is 21.74 ampere. Calculate secondary current. Now put the values in formula. 5000 divided by 150. So the answer becomes 43.48 ampere. So the secondary full load current is 43.48 ampere. Clear secondary and primary full load current of a single phase transformer. Why is this important? Knowing the full load current helps us select the right fuse, circuit breaker, and wire size for safe operations. For example, if a transformer supplies too much current, it can overheat or damage electrical components. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe my YouTube channel. Thank you.